Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. And before we start today's video, I wanna clear something up really quick. You see this epic mustache right here? Don't worry, it's going away on December 1st. I'm doing it for charity. We've already raised over $3,000 as a channel for the Movember Foundation for Men's Health. I'm quite proud of that, but don't worry, it's coming off on December 1st. I know I know it looks like free candy van material. I, I know this. All right, well, as you might have guessed, today's video is about Microsoft's unscrupulous practices yet again. If you guys didn't see my first video on Windows 10 spying and how to protect yourself against it, be sure to watch it after this video. I will have a link down in the video description. I think it's down there if YouTube did didn't move it. So today's video almost didn't happen. I was actually working on editing the Dirtfish rally footage from when I went toe to toe with Jay's Two Cents and Subaru BRZ rally cars. And don't worry, that video is coming very, very soon. But I had to stop because of what I experienced. I was doing some cleanup on my PC to free up some hard drive space on my SSD. So I went into apps and features in Windows. And as I was scrolling through looking for stuff to uninstall that I don't use anymore, I noticed that I had a few things that I never installed. I found that I had Candy Crush Soda Saga, whatever the hell that is installed. I had Farmville installed. And both of these were the full installations. Like a couple of people when I mentioned this on Twitter said, oh no, no, these are just like placeholders. No, 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 these are the full apps. If you go into the store app and open it up, there is a play button. There is not an install button. And plus the size of the installs ranged from 100 to 150 megabytes. So that's bandwidth Microsoft used to install crap I didn't want on my Windows 10 build without me ever knowing about it. So at first I thought this might've been an isolated incident. So I reached out to you guys on Twitter and said, hey, how many of you guys are finding this crap in your apps and features now, like installed on your computer? And I got swamped with replies back with screenshots of other stuff being installed. Things like Netflix, pics and art. So this of course prompted me to do a little research and it turns out that the Windows anniversary update that everybody had to install that was forced down upon us by the Microsoft gods themselves included a nifty new feature that allows Microsoft to take featured games and force them onto your box without your consent or knowledge. This means if Microsoft is making a ton of money off a game like Candy Crush, they can go, oh, you know what? We're just gonna force that down for free to every single person's computer on earth so that they will open it up and then buy in-app purchases. That's the thing I noticed is all the apps that Microsoft was installing, these third-party apps, all had in-app purchases because Microsoft makes money when you buy those in-app purchases. So needless to say, that royally pissed me off enough to make a video on how to disable all of this crap that Microsoft decided to put in in the anniversary update, and you guys need to be diligent. Every time a new update comes out from Microsoft, you need to go back and check and recheck all of these things, because as we discovered with the Windows 10 spying video, a lot of people went and did all that stuff, and then right after the anniversary update, all that stuff was reverted back to default. Microsoft went back and pulled all that crap out and forgot all of your settings and personal preferences and instead used their default settings and personal preferences, which allowed your computer to send telemetry to Microsoft, allowed them to install apps on your computer, all kinds of crap you didn't want. Obviously you didn't want it because you went and disabled those features. So the good news is after doing some research, there is a way to disable this sneaky background process of installing applications. And you're gonna wanna disable it before you uninstall any of those apps. Because I found that when I uninstalled Candy Crush Soda Saga, within 10 minutes, it was back in ad remove programs again, or apps and features in Windows 10. I was like, wait a second, I just removed that. So there's definitely something going on in the background that's like, hey, this guy doesn't have this awesome game yet. Let's uh, shove it down on his box. Now, before we continue any further, I want you to pause the video and I want you to go into apps and features. You can just search for it down in the little search bar, hit your Windows key and type it in. And I want you to go through the list of all the installed applications. And I want you to see which applications in the Windows store you never asked to be installed. And more specifically, just ignore the Microsoft ones, the ones like calendar and news and everything, ignore those. Just look at the third party apps from like Zanga and stuff like that that were installed on your box. And I want you guys to go down to the comments section and tell me how many you found that you honestly did not install. I wanna know if you guys think that there is even an inkling that you might have pushed the button and installed it when it was free or something like that, then, then don't put it down there. But if you are 100% positive, you never installed that thing, it is on your box. I wanna know about it right now down in the comments. Okay, so before you go and remove the hundreds of megabytes of crapware that Microsoft bestowed upon you without your knowledge, we first need to disable the mechanism that prevents it from being installed again. Now for that, we're gonna have to open up something called the registry editor. This might get a little bit scary, but just follow along. So once the registry editor is open, you need to click on H key users. And then under that, you wanna to go to software, then go to Microsoft, then go to Windows, then go to current version, 
and then go to Content Delivery Manager. Now under that folder, there's gonna be a value called Silent Installed Apps Enabled equals one. You wanna double click that and change the one to a zero and press enter. Now, once you've made this change, go ahead and reboot the computer just to make sure that the change is honored when the service starts. And then go into your apps and features and remove all of those applications that you didn't want. Okay, so now we got the crapware off of the box that Microsoft forced you to download with your bandwidth and consume your hard drive space with. So that's a great step. Now, the next step is how do we get you back to a secure and private platform again? Now, no matter what you do, you're not gonna get back to a 100% secure and private platform because Microsoft has made it clear at this point that Windows 10 is for the sole purpose of collecting data. That's the reason why they give it to the end user for free. And now they put a fee on it because I think people were catching on to why it was free. And it's because they're harvesting your data and selling it. And this is another example of how they're doing that by putting games on your box that aren't there in the hopes that you will open them up, get addicted and install the DLC components, which they make money off of. So if you guys watched my other video, I talk about a program called Do Not Spy 10, which allows you to disable all of the telemetry and spying stuff inside of Windows 10, but I've been receiving a lot of reports that after the anniversary update, it's not working as well as it used to. And in some cases, it was even causing problems with the computer not working. So I went ahead and did a little bit more research and I found a more current application. It's called Destroy Windows 10 Spying. And you install this simple application and you can go through and also use it to remove all of the apps that Microsoft won't let you remove, like the news app and the calendar app and all of that stuff. It will let you permanently remove those from your machine. It also will add firewall rules to prevent the OS from sending information and telemetry back to Microsoft about your usage habits and things like that. And it will make entries to your host file to prevent the Edge browser and other stuff like that from making connections to Microsoft and also sharing data, hence locking down your box. Now, I know there's a few of you out there that are kind of on the fence and agree with Microsoft that it's okay for them to do this kind of stuff because, you know, hell, cell phone manufacturers have been doing it forever. Google's been collecting your private data forever and pushing things down to your box on your cell phone and stuff like that when you're on the Android platform. But I am here to say that your desktop operating system, in my opinion, is excluded. You have to realize that your desktop operating system is the platform that you use for developing content. It's the platform you use for your most secure data. It's your platform you use for backups and creating things. This is the one safe haven that should be free of spying and malware. And I have to say that I am incredibly disappointed with Microsoft in the direction that they've taken over the last few years. I have to say that when I was laid off, yes, I was angry that Microsoft laid me off two years ago before the Windows 10 project came to fruition. But I have to say that they actually did me a service because honestly, I would be embarrassed to work for the company today. I think it is absolute crap that they think internally as a company, it's okay to push DLC content down to the box, especially pushing programs down to the box that they didn't even develop, that they don't even have the source code for. How can Microsoft guarantee that Farmville and Candy Crush are safe for your system and aren't gonna possess some kind of a security issue? The answer is they can't. They absolutely cannot make that guarantee. So why should they be allowed to push that stuff down uncontested? I'm also really pissed off that there isn't an obvious UI element that's like, do you wanna opt into us giving you crap and forcing crap down your throat onto your box? I think, I think that that option should exist. It shouldn't just be enable the feature and then people have to go modify registry keys to disable it. That's some bullshit, Microsoft. Now there's a couple of you out there that might be thinking, why don't you just roll back to Windows 7 or why don't you roll back to 8.1? And the reason for that is because Windows 10 contains DirectX 12 and it contains the Xbox integration that lets you play games like Forza Horizon 3 and Gears of War 4 natively on Windows. And they actually run better and look better than they do on the actual console. And I quite like both of those games. Games. Also, Windows 10 performance is actually really decent. I have a lot of respect for the components that are inside of the operating system, like the kernel and the HAL and the new driver model that allow it to do some amazing things with minimal resources. But what I don't like is that Microsoft thinks it's okay in the background to basically harvest your data, push whatever they want down to your box whenever they want, even when it's crap they didn't even program that came from a third party, and they somehow are okay with this. There is nothing when you're installing Windows that pops up and says, hey, would you like to check this box here to have Windows automatically install crapware on your box? 
There's no little check mark that says, hey, check this box if you would like Microsoft to send all of your information, your clicks, all of your searches, everything to the Microsoft mainframe to improve search accuracy. Trust me, there's a lot of marketing research being done with that data. Google has already paved the way for that. Of course, Microsoft's gonna use your data for that. And I know that a lot of you aren't going to care if they use your data for that, and that is perfectly okay. If you guys are one of those people out there that think it's okay for all this crap to go on in the background and you really could care less, then just ignore this video. That's fine, just let Microsoft run your life and that is cool. But the majority of us, and I know this from experience reading the comments on my other video, would like to have control of our desktop operating system. We would like to be able to choose what goes onto the computer and what doesn't go onto the computer. We like having that level of control. We don't like Microsoft graying out the uninstall button on a bunch of crap apps from the store because Microsoft developed them and they want them on your box. So we have to use third party programs to forcibly remove them. That's the crap that I don't like. You guys have to realize, I worked as a senior software developer at Microsoft for 15 years and shipped every product all the way up through Windows 8.1. And I have to say, one of the things I prided myself on when I was that company is that the customer is first and Microsoft always had the mantra back then. They used to, they don't now under Satya, but they used to have the mantra that the customer always comes first and it's always about innovation and trust with the customer. Ever since Satya came online as the CEO of Microsoft, that has all gone out the window. Windows 10 now is all about collecting data. Microsoft is all about getting everybody into the cloud so that they can use you like a battery, basically like in the matrix for all intents and purposes. So I am here to say I am completely disgusted with Microsoft for the shit that they're doing. And to be honest, I would like to see a formal apology from Microsoft on social media from their PR handlers that say that this is unacceptable and that you guys are going to remove this crap. And not only that, but you're not gonna do shit like this again in the future. This is our computer. Once the operating system is installed on that computer, you know what? We need to have power over the secure security of that platform. It is not a secure platform when you have crap in there that allows you to shove down third party code onto our box without our permission. All right, so it's time for a call to action. I want you, yes, you, if you're watching this video right now and you agree with me on any level, I want you to take this video and I want you to share it as many places as humanly possible. I want Microsoft to see this video. I want everybody to see this video. And I'm really, really getting sick of the only way to get change from Microsoft now is for everybody to discover the bullshit they're doing and make it public. This is not the first thing Windows 10 has done. There's been the telemetry issues and the security issues in the past that they've talked about. There's been the problems with updates not being tested and forced down to the box, bricking people's machines. There have been so many fumbles with Windows 10 that it's gotten ridiculous. And the only way that we ever get any kind of action from them is when we create a video that gets over a million views and then Microsoft goes, oh, oh shit, we should probably do something about that. That is not the company that I worked for for 15 years. That is not the company that Bill Gates built. That is shit. That's what that is. And I am calling you guys out for it. Microsoft, I will continue to run your operating system as long as every other large software publisher requires it, like Adobe and a lot of the stuff on Steam and a lot of the stuff on Origin but I hope that those companies are working rapidly to support a platform like Linux because they need to start moving away from Windows because Windows is becoming a dangerous and tyrannical platform. Now, I would love to see Microsoft switch that around, change their ways, and go back to what they used to be, which is the customers first and it's all about innovation and it's about the operating system being an operating system, not about the operating system being a means for you to collect as much data as humanly possible without the end user being aware of it. All right, guys, I'm actually noticeably pissed off making this video. I usually don't get pissed off when I make videos, but this one I am certainly pissed off. And I hope that you guys can see that, and I hope you get pissed off about this too, because you know what? We don't need this bullshit. And the only way that we're going to get things back to normal is if Microsoft hears how loud we are, is, is the customers. We are the people that use their products. We are the people that rely on Windows every day to be creative. I'm using Windows right now to edit this video using Adobe, uh, Adobe Premiere. So... Microsoft, stop your shit. Share this video. Thank you.